Okay, well we're here, um, we're here at Belturbet at the Town Jetty and it's the inaugural Lakeland Canoe Club Belturbet Marathon Race Ranking Race. It's the first time in about 20 years that the club has run this race so it's great to see it um, starting again after a long gap and thanks to all the, the committee from Lakeland's Canoe Club who worked very hard, uh, especially Dennis Buckley and John Conway and um, Collie Lynch as well and Morna here is helping with the registration and everybody else um, from the club who have come out uh, to help us and support us today and everybody who's come from far and wide. We've paddlers from Nottingham here and from London as well, as well as from Thomastown and Kilcullen and from Salmon Leap and Selbridge paddlers uh, and from uh, Enniskillen just up the road from us or just down the river from Urn paddlers as well. So we've three races today. We've um, a novice course which is two kilometers long and then we've the short course which is 10 kilometers paddling up just across the border there past Foley's Cut and Foley's Bridge and then the long course is 16 kilometers heading up to Crom up in Fermanagh to the National Trust Center there and then back around and back through Foley's Cut then back upstream to finish at Bolter but 16 kilometers later. So I'm from Kukulin Canoe Club we have about 10 or 12 paddlers up here today I think the last time this race was on I raced it it's a long, long time ago. It's now. a long time ago. <laughs> um, we have different types of boats here. We have a general purpose boats, which is the short ones, they are plastic ones. And we have K1s and K2s. K1 is a single seater kayak, K2s double seaters. Some of them have tail, tail rotors on them there, and there's more with underslung. I think the underslung work better than the tail rotors. We're passing the council jetty here and moving on down river towards the Inland Waterways jetty. Lots of cruisers moored up due to the festival and the fancy dress that was on last night. The water is normally very quiet. There are more boats around than normal. Behind us too are the walls of the old um, army barracks, all that remains of it at this stage. It once was a very, very large barracks with a lot of both men uh, and horse artillery. We have a riding school, the remains of the riding school. They're practicing for the big room. We have two men now, pa okay? We have two men passing by us here uh, who are just practicing for the, the, the race at the moment. There are quite a number of paddlers practicing before the races start here. We have one, one lady amongst them. First of her, of her K2 is coming home now. I can't just see a number on this boat. I'm not sure who the who the winners are, but they're first past the post. What's your number? Thanks. Well done. This is the first home now in the K1. John Ringwood is the first home in the K1. Doesn't even look tired after all that. And this is the second, the second home now in the, in the K2s. We have more paddlers now on the way home. These are the K1s, fighting for second and third place. What? No, I can't. This is the first of her. First of our ladies, winner in the ladies, looking very, very stylish. First home in the ladies and second overall. That's the third in our men's K1, followed closely by the fourth in the men's K1. Looking quite relaxed, quite fit. And they're all managing to finish in such lovely sunshine. Great that her, her weather has held up. Come on, 
He's from the, from the Navin Centre, or so the boat says. It's KX Centre, my apologies. Another of our ladies home. Looking good in the sunshine, if not a little tired. In the good ridge. In the good ridge. Hold on, I'll get him, I'll tell you, finish the Come on, Enda! Come on! Right. Young Enda Goodridge now, making his way in for big cheers. One of our youngest competitors to, to have done the long race. He has to be the winner in the, in the young class. Now we have some more of our K, K2 paddlers, our young, our young paddlers, making their way back. I'm sure for some of them it's the first ever long race that they've competed in. Very young pair of boys against the stream and at this stage I'm sure it's not easy. B21, I don't know the man's name. Come on, Mary. Another lady coming in. Mary, I believe hear them shouting us her name. Well done, Mary. Come on, she Mary. comes in past. Past the finishing line. Here are K2 is coming in, fighting for positions. This is coming from the long race. Two K1s fighting for first. Here's another of our K2s. These are coming back from the 16 kilometer race, our second home. Very strong paddlers, looking very comfortable. And um, it's our first time in a very long time running the race, so thanks very much for, for making an appearance. And we'll not keep you much longer because I know you have, some of you have long journeys to go. So just introduce Dennis Buckley, who's the chairman, chairperson of Lakelands Canoe Club, first of all. Um, and thanks to all the volunteers from Lakelands Canoe Club, um, the various boat people who helped out, and St John's Ambulance as well for helping out with us. And you can see yourself when you go home because Cavern TV are here, so I have to give a plug to caverntv.com. So have a look on the internet for cabintv.com and you should be able to see yourself. They, they covered the finish and the start of the race there. Okay, so without more ado then, um, and for, sorry, I forgot as well, um, thanks to Francie Cahill from the Seven Horseshoes for the soup and sandwiches at the end, which he provided for us. So.
And years ago, the, um, the Seven Horseshoes was one of the, the venues for um, canoeing on the on the Irm where we used to go afterwards. So it's really kind of the starting point of um, Belt Herbert and racing, marathon racing Belt Herbert was this is where the, the, the prize game used to be afterwards. So we just recreated that again. Right then, so the long course K1, first of all. Um, first place is Liam McCarthy and Pedro Lopez from Salmon Lee. <laughs> And in second place then, Fergus Cooper and Alan Good from Contrast. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. K1 Division 1. In first place then is... Declan O'Driscoll from Salmon Lee. Second place is Tom Brennan from Salmon Lee. Thanks. Okay. Division two. Division two then, Mark Hartnett from Selbridge in first place. Second place is Dermot Stack from Salmon Leap. <laughs> Division 3, K1. First place is John Ringwood from Wild Water Kayak Club. And second place, Tony Dillon from Wild Water Kayak Club. Division 4, K1's first place, Cot Broderick from Thomastown Paddlers. And in second place in Division 4, Martin Worozosnik. Hold on to that. Okay, short course, K2, T2, in first place is Jerry Murphy and Dara Murphy from Earn Paddlers. And in second place is Liam Keogh and Michael O'Farrell from Kilcullen. Men's GP in first place is Pat Burton from Kilcullen. And in second place, Patrick Fitzgerald from Kilcullen. <laughs> Women's GP. <laughs> Women's GP, first place, Mary Fitzgerald from Kilcullen. <laughs> second place is Deborah Moore from Broken Weir in Sligo. A girls under 16 GP is Tori Kyo from Kilcullen. <laughs> and in second place is Chloe Fitzgerald from Calvin Canoe Club. Okay, boys under 16 GP, in first place is Ross Fowler from Selbridge. And second place is Jack Ledworth from Calvin Canoe Club. And Canadian... is Damien Stafford and Bridgine McAllister from Belfast. Congratulations. 
And then last but not least then the novice race in first place was Aaron Thorpe from Kilcullen. <laughs> and in second place is Anita from Selbridge Paddlers. Okay. So we haven't missed anybody out then? No, oh, that's it. Okay, so thank you very much for coming. Safe journey home. And hopefully we'll see you again here next year.